I fell from a three-story house onto a cement floor and basically saw my angels carry me out of the building. I landed. Um, I didn't have a broken bone in my body nor a scratch. And as I was being carried out by my sister and my girlfriend, um, I was thinking, wow, if, if, uh, if I had really hurt myself, I'd be in big trouble right now. And I hovered above my body for quite a while, above everything, above the whole scene, and then knew that I had to stay here uh, on this earth for a while and that I needed to get back into my body. And so I did and woke up uh, from a coma three days later, perfectly normal. And in that experience, when I was eight years old, I knew that there was other realms. But this is just a place where we are physically right now. When I fell up at Whitewater, I again crossed that barrier. And again, knew that it wasn't time for me to leave this physical place. Recently, in an interview, how has um, the, my skiing accident changed the way I practice yoga? And really, there is no difference. I mean, it's still a mindful practice where the um, connection to the body, mind, and spirit are, are what the purpose and the essential outcome are all about, not about getting into the full posture or um, creating some miraculous uh, pose that nobody else can do. You're almost imagining pulling up through the outseam of your leg here as the tail tucks down and in towards your left heel. There you go. Previous to um, my uh, injury, I felt the whole texture of the um, the air, the, the color, everything very different, very surreal and I knew something was going to happen and as I went into the fall I was totally conscious, I lay there, I could feel my body becoming paralyzed um, which was very surreal as well and I, because I was such a high level injury, uh, lost my breathing mechanism because your lungs are part of your intercostal muscles and you need to be um, innervated for them to work. A few months after I heard of Mary Jo's accident, I came down here to, you know, to be with her and to help her out at the rehab center. Massage is a, such an important part of what we do. And uh, the uh, influence of Christine and just the willingness of Frank to keep my body massaged is beyond words the single most um, endearing factor of my recovery. So this is a great position for people with no core because it gives them that base. And then I can actually play around with figuring out where my center is here and how I can find core stability. Because core stability is obviously if you've broken your neck, not that common. Mm. All of us have to love our bodies and love the vehicle that we travel in in this realm, whatever um, situation or whatever capacity it is in, and that, that that love and compassion can happen in any state. Wake up, wake up, wake up, wake up. It reminds me of uh, the howler monkeys down in Costa Rica massaging each other and pulling lice off each other and 
I think, why don't we do this more often? <laughs> I don't have lice, do I? <laughs> She has the most amazing ability to allow herself to evolve in situations without carrying around her baggage. I think out of all of the people in my life that I have come into so far or just experienced for long amounts of time, Mary Jo has been that one person. She just doesn't put up with her own crap, which is, I think, I mean, she will acknowledge it and accept it and allow herself to grow from it, which is such an, a beautiful thing to be able to just keep continuing doing that. I think that we all encounter various challenges in our lives, whether it's a physical um, situation with an illness or losing a loved one or um, whatever, losing a job that you think is really important, that's your identity, and um, losing the use of your body um, is also in that category, you're not any of those things. In the, in the end of the day, you are something much greater than that. And when it, you're faced with that challenge of having to redeem and also to understand your soul from a place that's unlimited, that's um, everlasting, that's ephemeral, you begin to take on life in a different way and you don't waste time in petty things. You uh, hopefully um, are able to bring yourself to a place where you understand that love is the most important thing that exists here and that um, above all to stay um, attuned to that is, um, is the best possible remedy for anything. We're catapulted into a world one could have never imagined. A world of car transfers, commodes, chest straps, hand splints, spasms, still legs, and other logistics one would never conceive until faced with this reality. My mom is a source of light that most of us frantically search for in our lives. She has found the light in moments of pain, stress, accidents, dramas, single parenting, and other feared occurrences. Every day she rises above the expectation and knocks every statistic out of the book. Even more impressively, her strength is not based on what she wants to achieve. It is born out of a place of surrender to where she is right now. I that each and every day I thank the divine spirit for placing us in this life together. I will be there every step of the way to watch and help you take your first steps. We love you, Mary Jo.
Continue.